what's going on you guys back out here today at the bench uh, starting load development on this 6BR I uh, showed you guys this video a couple times recently did a quick walkthrough what the components the specs are on it we'll get more into that stuff later as time goes on you guys should be seeing this quite a bit more today we're focusing on load development uh, again not necessarily knocking over the tarp dot um, not dialing in a zero we're just looking for groups going to check some sd and es on the chrono got some 105 hornady um, hollow point boat tails to kind of fouling up the barrel this is a clean barrel i've uh, got 50 rounds well actually i just shot two fowlers going to do some more but i've got now 52 rounds through this so i cleaned it really well again after 50 rounds so i came out used a little bit cheaper of a bullet a little less powder just to get some fouling going on and then what we're going to do load development on are the 105 hybrid uh burger hybrids got uh we're going from 29.8 to 30 30.2 30.4 30.6 all of those with a 20 thou jump so gonna see what happens with this load development here and then we'll start checking some seating depths on whatever uh, grains of powder I like the best this is Fargit powder uh, using CCI uh, BR uh, primers Lapua brass and I think that's enough info for you guys we'll kind of get started here I don't have the chrono on yet because I'm fouling up the barrel I think I've got three more maybe here in the magazine something like that but we'll just kind of get going here talk through it I've already got the targ dots down there on a piece of cardboard, um, starting from that 29.8, ending at that 30.6. So we'll uh, just get right into it here and see what happens today. Pretty excited about it. All right. Like I said, I've already got two down there. Last time I shot this, it was right at 30 degrees lower. Uh, I am shooting high right now using the same zero haven't changed any of that i might lower it just a little bit just to get it closer to the target dot but i'm going to see what these other fowlers here do as you'll notice well you probably can't see it there in the video angle um i did go back to the brake today the area 419 took the suppressor off because the brake is how i'd be run it, running it in competitions in matches so that's that's what we're doing today a little more a little more noise out here today a little bit of wind mostly from our back shouldn't affect us at 100 yards so there's three down there um we'll go ahead and foul it up some more then I'll make an adjustment just to get us closer to the targ dots coming down just a little bit four okay I thought I had three in there but that was only only two I guess we'll pop another one in here um, I'm gonna save a little bit of this target ammo for my dad he's gonna come over and He's wanting to shoot this. Okay, I'm gonna make just a little bit of an adjustment. I'm gonna go down just a few. See what that kind of looks like. How many mils am I? It's about half a mil, half a mil high probably. We'll do that. And like I say, I'm not even doing load development with these bullets. I'll switch over to the burgers and we'll see how those bad boys do. All right, back in action. Got the chrono turned on, paired to my phone. Um, got the 29.8, gonna do some five round groups here all the way through that 30.6 and see where we're at i did go down just a little bit on the elevation and uh we'll be going at that i'll show you the target once we're kind of getting closer to the end or at the end but first group here is going to be top left for 29.8 
2781. 2778. Probably should have fouled up a little bit more. Only did five fowlers, but that's all right. Four. And this will be five. Ooh. 2788. We'll check this out. We'll end that session. Let's see here. So average speed on 29.8 grain Varget Lapua, Lapua Brass 2776 uh, spread of 26.3 and SD of 9.1. Okay, I'll get this all saved up and then bring you back for 30 grains. Wind's picking up a little bit out here. All right, this is 30 grains. This should be kind of what everybody calls the easy button. Just the pet load, the something simple. Um, we'll run it down here. Got the chrono going again. 30 grains of Argit. 105 hybrid. Going to be center, center dot, top row. Another five round group. I didn't look at that first one I'm trying to catch all this brass because this is a old wire spool I don't have my center hole plugged up so I don't want to lose this brass 2801 like that it's three four Ooh, 2779 there. Dropped off and it showed too. 2803. I don't know what happened to that fourth one. It was it was an oddball. Let's check it out. Let's do in session. Check her out here. Average speed 2795. SD of 23.8, excuse me, extreme spread of 23.8, SD of 8.7. Let's shoot these 30.2s, and then we'll go down and check the target before we do the 30.4 and 30.6. All right, we got 30.2s loaded. Another five rounds. We'll blast these down there, and then go check it out. Got the electric bike out today. Hate to walk 100 yards one way and have to walk 100 yards back. So, got the old hot rod out. Here we go 30.2, five round group. Always forget to look at the first one and tell you that was 2807. Twenty-eight sixteen. Twenty-eight twenty-five. No. Four shots. We got a little group going down there. 41. It looks like a pretty good little group. I'll let this barrel cool down a little bit. Check this results out here and see what we uh, think so far for the first three. All right. Speed's getting a little better there with that 30.2. Uh, 2823 is my average. Spread 34.2, SD 
of 11.4. Eh. I'll have to check through that. Let's go uh, take a little break, let this barrel cool, go check out the target, and regroup. Let's kind of show you guys here what we're working with. Got a 100 round ammo box, 50 rounds in it, 29.8, 30, 30.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.7, 30, 30 some extra 30s, because I was thinking that might be the ticket. And then these are Fowler's uh, 30 grains with the Hornady 105s. So that's kind of what we're doing. Check out this sweet ride. Go check out these groups up on the bike. Here we were, Fowler's. And then moved over here, this would be 29.8. 30, getting a little better. That one that fell off, that was that one. And there's 30.2. So we'll go 30.4 and 30.6. Now we've got an extra target over here just for some extra rounds down range. Twenty-eight thirty-six. Once again, didn't check the first one. <laughs> I thought I, thought I yanked that one. 28.56. Pretty good little group, I think. Whoa. 28.41. Ah, that one was off. 28.46. That was a good group until that. Get that brass down there. We'll get this loaded up with 30.0. Six, and that'll be our fifth group. All right, I was going to read off that 30.4 group to you. Average of 2848, spread of 23.2, SD of 8.7. And on to the fifth and final 30.6. No pressure signs. Didn't expect any. That one went pretty far to the right, though. 2846. Didn't tell you the first one again. Would you expect any less? Ooh, this is ugly. Ugly. Shooting shotgun loads. 2869. Ugly group down there. Sure where that went. Getting some Raj going on the scope. 2871. I don't know. All right, let's check this out. In session. Let's see what we got here. Average of 2859. Kind of wanting to be around that 2850, but 
we'll see. Uh, average of 28.59, spread of 25.1, SD of 9.8. And we'll go take a look at the groups. All right, there was 30.4. See, everything's kind of to the right and high just a little bit. 30.4 and then 30.6. Don't like it. That's looking pretty good. I think we can mess with some depth on that. Seating depth, get some different jump. Tighten that up. There's 30. I was kind of thinking it might land there. Let's check this chrono. 30 was SD of 8.7, 23.8 spread, 30.2. Was SD of 11.4 and spread of 34.2. Wow. Huh. 30.4 was SD of 8.7. And that was 9.8 with a spread of 25.1. So I think. <clears throat> I'll review the chrono a little more when I'm inside and got some time, but we're going to land here somewhere. 30 or 30.2. I've got some more 30s loaded up, Hornady's and my burgers, so I'll probably shoot some 30s there and see what it is, but I, I might end up going that route, just mess with some depths. But... But you guys know how load development goes. This won't be the first time to the bench. We're gonna make some adjustments, get her fine tuned in. Once again, this is you know just a PRS. We're not shooting F class here, not punching bug holes. So we'll get something a little more firmed up and uh, be back for more. But appreciate you guys being here. If you have any comments or anything I should do differently, any questions, make sure and comment down below. Happy hunting. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.